Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. It's Otto here from Acquisition Partner. In this video, what I'm gonna to do today is show you exactly how I was able to hit 14K uh, per month recurring with my agency uh, with uh, extreme ease and in record time. The way I'm gonna show you that is just to go through a breakdown here of literally how I started my business and eventually we went on to do over 10 million in uh, e-commerce sales in, in the work that we did. So stick around to the end of this video and I'm gonna show you exactly here the process that I went through. Now, first things first, I've got a cool analysis here as well uh, if you if you stay around uh, to the end that we'll run through as well so first things first is we all know that the offer is the king uh, without a good offer without demand for that offer you're not going to be able to close clients and therefore you're not going to have a business that actually pays you any significant money at all so regardless of what your experience lies in or what skills you have you need to find an offer where people actually need that service being uh, fulfilled for them okay and it needs to obviously be, in a pay be a pain point that's high enough for them to actually pay you enough uh, for you to have a legitimate business based on that offer so first things first you have to look at the offer okay so we know that there's hundreds of thousands of offers you know you can do TikTok ads short form content leverage consulting Facebook ads whatever it might be um, you know e-commerce e-commerce agencies whatever it might be there's hundreds of different options of what you can do but the real question here is actually how do you dedicate yourself to one how do you pick one that you can commit to in the long term that you know isn't going to have a glass ceiling on the amount of money you can actually earn through it okay so next thing that I went through there had an idea of a range of you know products and services uh, online that I could um, that I could pitch um, but what I wanted to do was really find one that had a ticket price that was appropriate for me okay so I've recently been taking a few calls and, and a couple of guys jumped on a call with me they're 50 50 business partners in uh, an agency that they're just starting and when I asked them what their pricing model and their ticket price was they said uh, that they will be charging their clients $500 a month plus a $500 ad spend um, and then presumably they'll be splitting that 50% each uh, because there's two partners in the business. Okay, so you can already get an idea that, you know, how many clients you're going to need to actually make a business like that um, generate enough revenue to actually be profitable. Um, and not least, you're going to have to actually split all the revenues in half as well with your business partner. Um, you know, it's a, it really is a race to, to the bottom. So I didn't want to be involved in a business where I was low value and had a uh, low ticket price where I would be, you know, selling a monthly recurring service for $100 a month or $1,000 a month, whatever it was. Okay, so I set the, uh, the, the baseline ticket price around 5K. And my thinking was that, you know, in my past experience with, um, you know, sales and uh, building partnerships is that, you know, selling, a, uh, selling an individual or a client on a $500 a month uh, proposal when perhaps they're only making six grand a month is just as hard as it is to sell a client on a 5K per month uh, proposal when they're making 30k a month 50k 100k okay so the sales process is going to be the same uh, and arguably it's going to be even harder and full of you know frustrations more so with uh, low ticket prices so for me it was a good offer it was a 5k ticket price monthly recurring uh, pricing model exactly that I wanted it to be recurring revenue I didn't want to sell a physical product I didn't want to have to generate so much attention that then I could uh, build a business off of you know individual unique sales I wanted something where I could have a projection to at least uh, a 90 day process or, or timeline um, where I can see my income coming in, um, you know, and I can build on it. Uh, the fourth point here is about available upsells. So I wanted to not only find a good offer, good ticket price and a, a sensible recurring revenue model for the business. I also wanted to choose something that had a number of different available upsells that were to be considered normal uh, by the client, okay? So if you are offering Facebook ads and you're doing it for $500 a month, if you then go and try and pitch that client graphic design or email marketing for two grand a month, five grand a month, the delta between what you're already offering and the, the value and the price that you've already set in your client's mind of yourself, it's gonna be so difficult for you to actually upsell anything of significant value and cash flow uh, because that delta is so wide. Okay, so what I wanted to do was have a, a strong strong business in terms of the price and the value that I was, um, you know, I pitched for myself and a client was perceiving me to have. But I also wanted to be able to, be able to pitch to that client, um, you know, through, through the duration of working with them, over a long period of time with one-off upsells and recurring upsells. Okay, and I'll talk talk about a couple of examples here that we used. But these could simply be, you know, if you have an email marketing agency, you upsell, um, you know, maybe you do 10, 10 email templates in a month and you wanna upsell an extra five and you have a fixed price for that. Okay, so that's a one-off upsell. Maybe it is you're going into a busy sale month, you're going into Black Friday, uh, then you're going into Christmas and then January sale. You actually want to upsell them over that 
three, four month period. Um, so you double their contract value and you say for the next three, four months is actually going to be 100% price increase for X, Y, Z. Okay, so two types of different upsells. That's what I wanted to make sure we had within the business. The next point here is about service delivery. Okay, so what I wanted to make sure was that the service delivery itself was such that I could do it if I failed to find other people to do it for me. Um, so the model that we landed on here was e-commerce email marketing through one platform, Klaviyo. So anybody who does email marketing will, um, or who, who's in the e-commerce space will actually know what Klaviyo is. Um, but what I wanted to make sure was that there was not only support and guidance online. So if I ran into problems or if I needed to learn you know, extra things about how to actually deliver the service, I could easily do that. I also wanted just to reduce the risk for myself <clears throat> to the tune of if I you know, failed to get a marketing manager or we ended up calling them Clavio full stack marketing managers. If I failed to actually hire good people, I could uh, in the you know extremely rare case or desperate case, I could actually deploy the service myself and deliver pieces of work for the client, um, you know, whilst keeping them happy. The next point here is about results. Okay, so I wanted a model that uh, was easy to not only get results, but also to demonstrate attribution of those results. So we put that here in uh, the bullet point number nine. Uh, but the results thing here is that I wanted to commit to a platform where it was easy to show cause and effect. Okay, so it was very easy for me to record a loom or get on a quick call with a client and show them live on their email marketing and Clavio account um, where I can say, look, 30 days ago, you were at X percentage of your monthly recurring revenue coming through email and SMS. Now, 30 days with us, you're actually here at X percent. Okay, so something that I wanted, uh, I wanted, I didn't want any custom reporting. I didn't want to have to rely on any third party tools. Simplicity was key. <clears throat> the next thing here is about staffing. So I've talked a little bit about delivering the service. I also wanted to commit to a business model where there's an abundance of uh, contractors and employees in the world of e-commerce and email marketing. You've got copywriters, graphic designers, you've got Clavio marketing managers, uh, individuals that do MailChimp, whatever it might be, deliverability, technical uh, experts too. And I wanted to have uh, uh, enough of a uh, pool of contractors um, and individuals that I could actually rely on to deploy the service. And underpinning that too um, is project management. Okay, so something like email marketing, when you build a scope for a client, um, you will itemize that scope based on the work that you're, the physical work that you're actually gonna deliver for them. And um, what I wanted to make sure was that everything from that scope was easily transferable into a project management tool where I could plug these future employees into, set deadlines, uh, monitor their progress and keep them accountable every day. Okay, so instead of me focusing all of my time on the service delivery, I'd be the one sat hovering over the project management tool, checking in with these key members of staff uh, and keeping them accountable. Okay, so something like email marketing, write copy, you know, you've got 10 emails, write copy, create the graphic design, set up, um, you know, dedicated sending domain. Um, create segments, whatever it might be. All of those were easy to break down, drop into a project management tool. Uh, we use ClickUp uh, and then keep keep your staff accountable. Okay, so when you're running Facebook ads and things like that, things can get a little bit more convoluted and complex. I wanted to keep it very simple. Talked here uh, about upsells. I think that's just a, a double, double up here. So we've already talked about upsells. And then just lastly here, we're talking about case studies and referrals. Okay, so with the really sim uh, simplistic results reporting with the really simplistic project management tracking uh, and keeping my team accountable. I wanted to build a business where it was really easy to build case studies uh, and therefore use those case studies and the success we were you know, creating for our clients to then generate referrals. Okay, so this was how I was able to do it. We had the target initially of 14K a month. This was very simple, it was that we packaged all of these points up here. Uh, we niched down and focused on e-commerce, email marketing on Klaviyo as a platform specifically and only, so we're very niche. Um, and we very quickly got three clients and our clients were paying 5K a month in retainer, so just over 14K a month here. Okay, and what we were able to do, and it's a, a video on service delivery I can uh, produce people who are interested in it, but we were able to build a team where we could outsource all of the work to our full stack email marketing managers for um, $500 a month per client. Um, and then each of those managers managed on average five to six uh, key accounts anyway. So it's a very scalable and easy business model. Okay, so what I wanna do here just with this analogy, okay, is it, and I saw this on Lucid Chart, I thought it'd be a fun, fun thing to do, okay, is about building a burger, okay? So the burger is your uh, business, and in this case, we built a email e-commerce uh, marketing agency. Okay, so in terms of the burger analogy here, <clears throat> First things first, you've got your bun, your bun base, okay? And that's gonna be your brand, uh, your personal brand or your professional brand, whatever you've got in place to uh, pitch your offer. Now your offer, 
is the meat okay is the is the burger is the main core of uh, of your burger of your business okay so some people are going to think that the main core of it is, is service delivery you can't have the beef of your business you can't do service delivery if you don't have a good offer and therefore if you don't have clients and recurring revenue okay so the next thing here is the cheese okay and the cheese is the service delivery and this specifically is responding to the service delivery that uh, you actually produce in terms of the physical tangible work so whether it's Facebook ads it's the copy it's the graphic design it's the um, uh, the targeting whatever it might be audience selection that's the tangible work you're doing separate to the results you're delivering um, and also within this service delivery this is all of your communication uh, the ability to um, set expectations with your clients and keep them happy okay so you've got your brand you've got your good offer uh, and you've got client buy-in okay so we've got the majority of your business right here and if you've got those three things um, then you'll be able to make money um, relatively regardless of the results you get but results are important so we add the lettuce and this is what represents results um, you know one might think that the, the total contents of a business is based on the results you get for the client. There is, of course, other elements of the business um, that's really important that you have in place before you're even able to, uh, to get results for them. Okay, and then what we can do here is just add on a load of toppings. These are all of your upsells, your one-offs, whatever they might be. Would you like to add bacon? And then we put a lid on the business there to top it all off, okay? So we built our business, we built the burger here based on all of the elements that we talked about here. If you guys have got any questions, a lot of this stuff we uh, go through in the free course. It's 31 um, modules in total, absolutely free, no upsells, don't pay. We don't do paid courses around here. So go and sign up to the free course, let me know how you get on and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day.